Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Steve Belcher again, Urban Kid in the Alliance. Like I told you, I'm back at a second location, not no more than five minutes driving from the last spot that I was at, at East End Dallas. I'm not sure what what the name of this particular DeVita Dallas is, but this was 0.5 nine tenths of a mile almost one mile to get to this facility right here here i am a second devita not less than one mile from the first devita that i uh recorded from and just to show you look you can see the building right behind me okay it's a standalone unit meaning that there's no other uh buildings it's, it's by itself so look look how big that that, that building is Look how big this DeVita is in Richmond, Virginia. Hey, Tracy, how you doing? So this is the second unit that I came to, Tracy, that's less than a mile from the other one. And this is what I'm trying to point out of the importance of kidney disease uh, awareness and education because it's coming to a community near you, somewhere or the other. Uh, Nick, thanks for coming back in. This is the second unit, which was less than a mile from the first unit. Actually, the first unit took me five minutes to get to this unit, 0 0.9 tenths of a mile from the GPS. Now, I want to give you a panoramic view of what I'm seeing right here at this DeVita facility in East Richmond, uh, Virginia. It's not like a big community that you would think would be a, a, a food desert community or something like that. You got people over there doing reconstruction like down in Baltimore you can see the homes on the roof you can see these homes they they don't look like they're um, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use De decrepitated or um, uh, I can't think of the other word but these homes are nice okay that could the beginning of the uh, of the, the Vita building and look how far it stretches Yes, this is massive. And then you got the community. I mean, a couple of homes over here. Got people standing out. So, so that's, that's, that's the community where I'm at now. I finished the, the presentation, uh, the tour event. And so I decided to ride down the road to Richmond, which is less than 10 minutes from the event and see uh, what was going on, try to see how uh, far apart was the dialysis clinics in the, in the area. And lo and behold, not two are just less than five minutes from each other. I can walk to the other one from this unit. And that's gotta stop. I mean, we gotta let people know what's going on. They're coming up uh, almost like Starbucks in New York, there's one on every corner, and it's literally not one dollar, it's in on every corner. But when you got uh, 28 dialysis facilities within a 25 mile radius of your uh, area code, uh, I'm sorry, your zip code, then that's a problem. That is a serious problem. And it, yes, it is sad, Jella. I mean, something gotta be done about this. And that's why I'm making a point to go around and do this tour. I mean, God is going to put the people in the places that I need to go. Right now, uh, there's no other uh, uh, tour event scheduled. Uh, this was the first one. I'm still waiting for people to, um, you know, sign up or get their organizations to have the tour. Uh, at their church or organization so we can spread the awareness but we can't do it without your help and without the organization saying yeah come in and and do this and Nick I want to tell you man I'm, I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to do uh, a street gospel with dialysis standing on the corner with a bullhorn and and have my information out there and and just you know sharing the information like you would for Christ 
and, 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 and actually mixed that in because I did share things from the Bible that talks about um, eating healthy. That's there, there in, in Genesis, uh, 1 Corinthians, Deuteronomy, um, and I'll be honest, and I'm sorry that I can't quote off the, the chapters and the scriptures, but if you Google eat healthy in the Bible or what Bible, um, where in the Bible that talks about eating healthy, and it will point them scriptures out to you, uh, especially Genesis where they talk about he has given us the, the plants and the seeds um, to, 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 to eat. And so if it happened in that day, I don't see why it couldn't happen in this day. The only difference in this day is they're packaging up food that's not good for you and selling it to you. We don't know what's going on in that manufacturing process. Uh, you know what we're putting in our bodies so the Bible does talk about eating healthy and I just came from a church and I pointed that out to him it, you know it, it's, it's just mind-boggling this whole disease thing and I just saw a commercial on um, Ozempic which is a diabetes medication for type 2 how many type 2 diabetes medication do we need okay how many because all you have to do is remove the stuff that's causing the diabetes and bam you don't have to take the medicine how simple is that Nick how simple is 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 doing exercise modifying your diet what you eat um, how simple is that opposed to being diagnosed with diabetes and going back and forth paying for your medicine not only are you taking medicine that's going to damage your kidneys in the long run but you're paying for the medicine each time you got to go back and you're taking them for years and this is what we got to stop and raise awareness that you don't have to be on medication for the rest of your life it, it doesn't work that way and that's why they don't tell you all you had to do is st do you okay let me just say this on these commercials that they do for the uh, diabetes medication and all this, they don't talk about the alternatives or what you can do to combat that. They tell you what you can do to maintain it. And then on top of that, there's so many side effects associated with the medicine. I mean, it's like the guy, they go on and tell you about the medicine and what it's going to do and how it's helping you. And then the guy comes on near the end of the commercial and talks about if you have heart disease, if you have, uh, if you do dialysis, if you have this, you have that, don't take it. I mean, come on. I, I mean, if people can't see that for what it's worth, I, I don't know. I mean, Stevie Wonder could see that. So... Again, I'm going to try to find one more unit that's close by before I go visit my relatives because I know it's one close by and I'm going to pop right back on and then I promise I'm going to go home. But this is how important this is. Thanks for watching, Nick. Please share this video. Nick, I'm definitely going to talk to you when I get back. Um, you're right. You're right, Tracy. Kidney disease is not promoted uh, like cancer or any other chronic illness. And it almost makes me think that it's a conspiracy behind this because when you look at National Kidney Foundation and they talk about, oh, we want to uh, cure kidney disease, they, they collected millions of dollars to uh, end it and all that. But of course they're not ending it because if they were ending it, you wouldn't see these facilities popping up. Hey, uh, Sandy, thanks for uh, tuning in. I know you couldn't watch the show on Thursday, but you can go back and watch the recording of it. Uh, thanks for your support, too, Sandy. I appreciate it. I'm here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm at uh, the second DeVita dialysis unit, less than a mile from the first one. And I'm just trying to point out the proliferation of these facilities in the communities. And the communities don't have to be urban. I'm here in a community right in Richmond that doesn't look like an impoverished uh, community. And I'll show you again. As you can see, this is a Saturday, so it's not too many cars in the parking lot. Uh, Saturdays, uh, treatments are maybe about one to two shifts. Uh, not a, like a light load on Saturday when it comes to dialysis units.
So this area is not a bad community. Um, but Dallas could be anywhere, right, Tracy? Just like over in Baltimore and Hamden at uh, 44th and Chestnut. Good area, but it's a dialysis facility right there. So, you know, there's, there's no short of these cynics. Proceed to the route. So, I'm going to ready to go Arrived. to the unit, and I want to show you how serious this situation is. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. I just hope this can get across the United States. Like I said, right now, uh, we don't have anything confirmed in any other states. So if you know anyone that wants to bring this tour to their organization, to do a presentation seminar, I would drive to you. I drove down here to Richmond from, uh, from Baltimore. I mean, I could have been doing something else, but this is my ministry. This is my passion. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to do this again, Nick. Um, we're going to do that, man. I see how important this is in incorporating God um, in this, brother. I, I see it now. So I'm going to go to one more unit, and I'm back on. Peace.